Just a half an hour away from LA, Long Beach is an oceanfront gem you'll want to add to your California itinerary. They might be known for their boardwalks, beaches, and pier, but now they can brag about their vegan food scene. I'm Eunice and I'm going to show you 8 must try vegan spots in the city of Long Beach. Let's go! On the corner of Atlantic and 6th, you'll find a gem that you would never expect to have any vegan options, but lucky for me, there's tons. Okay, so I am at Sura Tofu House in Long Beach, California. You guys, I cannot be more excited to showcase all the food that they have here at this restaurant. They are a traditional Korean restaurant, but they offer a full vegan menu and they do not skimp out. Traditionally, people think of Korean barbecue, right? When they think of Korean food. And sure, that is a big portion of their cuisine. However, there's so much other food that Korean cuisine has to offer, like tofu soups, japchae, Italian pancakes. There's just so many things. And what I love about this restaurant is that they offer all of their banchan, which are side dishes, vegan. So the whole restaurant enjoys from vegan side dishes because oftentimes if you do go to a Korean restaurant, they can maybe adapt to your vegan dietary needs, but then you can't have kimchi because it has fish sauce, right? So here, they don't use that in any other products for the sides, so everybody can enjoy it. So let me just tell you everything that I have here. I have the vegetable pancake. Traditionally, it's made with egg, but because this is made vegan, they just use flour and some potato starch to give it that same texture and consistency. So, I can't resist. This is one of my favorite things to eat. Okay, cheers. It's so crispy and so flavorful. Like, honestly, it's a nice portion too. Like. You'd probably want to eat this whole thing by yourself as a meal too at some point. As an appetizer, I highly recommend you have to get it. You will enjoy it, trust me. Another appetizer you must get is the tukkochi. This is rice cakes, but on a skewer. And ah, oh, they're not super spicy, but you have to try it because the texture. Well, let me just show you. If you've ever had this dish, you know exactly what I'm talking about with the chewy texture. It's rice cake, so they're just, oh, it's just an addicting chewy texture. You're gonna love it. I highly suggest you get this as well if you've never had it. This is something traditionally you find almost everywhere, and they are traditionally vegan. If you find it on a, just served plated on its own, it's too pokey. And then on the skewer, it's too kochi. Okay, I couldn't resist because now they serve the Beyond Chicken Tenders. If something Korean cuisine is also known for, it's Korean fried chicken. So they have a veganized version. Sure, they use the Beyond Chicken Tenders, but they still add the same sauce that they would on regular, you know, chicken wings. So, cheers. Mmm. Wow. That sauce is so good. And they serve it to you with a nice hefty portion of fries, which who doesn't love that? Mmm. And they're seasoned. Mmm, mmm, mmm. You know it's good when you have to lick your fingers. Mmm. So good. Okay, japchae. If you've never had japchae, they are green glass noodles served with veggies. A lot of times it's also traditionally served with meat, but sometimes you can hack this one at most restaurants and ask without like meat or any of that. And so this one just has veggies in it. If you love nudes, you're gonna love this. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. You guys, I wasn't even done taking a bite of that. I already knew it was delicious. It was so good, it was so flavorful. And something I was telling the owners is I've been addicted to K-dramas recently. I've shared that a couple times on my Instagram as well. I love them. If you haven't watched a K-drama, please watch one and please tell me which K-drama I should watch if, you know, maybe I haven't watched it yet. But something that you'll notice when you're watching these is the food like gets to you. You're like, oh my gosh, I just want to eat Korean food. Like that's all I want to do right now. Japchae is one of them, ramen is one of them. They have a hangover ramen soup here, vegan, and it is one hearty portion. It's massive, like I highly recommend you try that too. So good. Okay, so something a lot of people are familiar with is bulgogi. Bulgogi is a Korean beef, right? But they make theirs out of TVP, but the marinade is exactly the same as they would for their regular beef, and it is served piping hot. And I really appreciate that because I like my food super hot. So the fact that they put it on a flame and cook it there to make sure that the plate stays hot, I love that. All right, let's try this. 
Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. You guys, that tastes really juicy. It really does have that meat texture. So if you're a meat eater and you're curious, I highly suggest you try this either way. This is this is delicious. I just appreciate that they use the same marinade and everything. They just substitute for the vegan option, right? And last, but definitely not least, my favorite, my go-to dish at a Korean restaurant is the tofu soup. They typically have it at a lot of Korean restaurants, or they'll say specifically at their tofu houses, right? And this one has mushrooms also from Long Beach. This is restaurant from Long Beach. They source it locally too. And it's also served piping bubbly hot with wild rice. Oh my goodness. Mm, just get a little bit of rice. And then some of the soup. Cheers. Mm. Oh my gosh. It never gets too cold in California, but trust me, in the winters, you still want this. It's amazing. You don't care, I would eat it in the summer. Like, it's just so good year round. Oh my gosh, this, this dish never fails. Honestly, if you want to have a good traditional Korean food experience, but vegan, there's only one place you need to go and it's here. Like, trust me, you will not regret it. You need to come to Sura in Long Beach. Next, because you're in Cali, you need to have tacos. And La Taqueria brand not only has the classic taqueria menu, but they have three vegan protein options. So of course, I had to try them. But first, you need to hit up the salsa bar because that makes them even more legit. And they even have frijoles de olla. But let's get to the tacos. I got the jackfruit birria and al pastor, but they also have chorizo con papa. So now the taste test. I tried the birria first and it was absolutely delicious. It had a smoky flavor, but the al pastor, I think this was my favorite, it had a touch of sweetness too. I 100% would come back here and maybe even pig out on a burrito. Next, it was time for a sweet and savory meal you would least expect to be made vegan. Okay, so here in Long Beach, California, there is a place called V Crepes and it's right next to a burger joint called V Burger, you guys. When can you ever get vegan crepes? Almost never. So this is definitely worth a trip to come here because you can get savory and sweet crepes, which again is rare. One thing I like about this place is that they have this amazing concept. It's almost like punk rock band vibes. One of the owners of the vegan burger joint, he used to live in London, so he definitely brought that influence back here, right? And on Sundays, they have like brunch and they play vinyl records, so it's a vibe. And they bring in people from the community for art walks. The burger joint started as an animal advocacy group and they just wanted to bring awareness to like how you can adopt animals. So they thought, you know what, we're gonna sell vegan food so that people can just like get to know it more. So it's a, they encompass everything about the vegan lifestyle, not just the food, but the bonus is they have amazing vegan food too, right? So I got the vegan chicken Parmesan, cause again, when can you ever see that? Never, it was calling my name. It's got the vegan mozzarella. It's got the vegan crispy chicken, the fluffy looking crepe vegan parm just layers of ooey gooey goodness and i'm gonna give it a try right now this is so good like i like it because the portion's not super massive it's nice and light it's not super heavy but it still leaves you content right more importantly though you have room for dessert oh my gosh i love the crispy vegan chicken beyond they use the melted bay life cheese the marinara the parmesan everything here is just so flavorful it's delicious it's made to order but let's also try a dessert one okay so now it's time for the best part dessert crepe oh my gosh you guys the minute i walked in here i was eyeing the s'more crepe it has the fluffy crepe the vegan marshmallow cream chocolate graham crackers, homemade vegan whip that they make in-house. Okay, I'm not waiting anymore. I need to try this delicious vegan crepe, s'more style, because oh, I love all things s'more. Get tons of that whipped cream. All right, cheers. Oh my gosh. Wow. The vegan marshmallow cream and the whip is life. It's everything. Again, I'm happy the portions aren't super heavy because I highly recommend eating one savory and one sweet cream. Trust me, you will not regret it. You will have room. I mean, I hope you have room. I kind of eat a lot, so I hope you guys have room. <laughs> so something that's really cool about their crepe batter is they make it their themselves with like oat milk. It's very low preservative. It's very natural. Uh, typically, people think they can't eat vegan crepes because it's loaded with eggs and butter, right? That's the, the traditional recipe. But 
they make it vegan and they show you that it can be made vegan and it tastes just as good. So make sure you come to Long Beach, check out V Crepes, check out a vegan burger. You will not be disappointed. This is delicious. It tastes like a traditional crepe recipe, if not better in my opinion, but yeah, enjoy. And speaking of V-Burger, I had to stop by another day to try the burgers because they also make a vegan version of a double-double called the Deuce Deuce and you can choose between Beyond or Impossible patties or you can mix and match like I did and so do a lot of customers. I got it with grilled onions and all the fixings. I was so ready to enjoy this and you guys, where else can you get mac and cheese fries? So yeah, I had to try that too. The burger hit the spot and it's that perfect fix for that craving that you have and I love their mac and cheese. They offer shakes and healthy sodas too and you can also see which animals need a home while you eat. Next, it was time to go to the west side of Long Beach for Vegan Castle because this is a vegan sushi spot you won't want to miss. They have deep fried rolls like the volcano roll with shrimp and jalapenos. It's so big, you need skill to pick it up. We also got the Santa Fe roll, which is one of their most popular dishes with the vegan spicy tuna, and it was super flavorful. Then of course, you gotta get a rainbow roll, and props to them for using bell pepper and other produce to mimic the sashimi. But I have to say, my favorite was the spider roll because I loved those fried enoki mushrooms. This place is a must try for sure. My cousin loved it, and he's not even vegan, just saying. But now let's talk about the most important meal of the day, brunch. So I'm at the Wild Chive here in Long Beach. This place is so popular. People from LA will drive to Long Beach to eat here because the brunch is that good. They serve brunch and lunch every Wednesday through Sunday. And you guys, you can get everything from appetizers to pancakes to BLTs to you name it, burgers. So of course, I have started with zucchini fries. You guys, they serve it to you with marinara and like a ranch dip, oh my gosh. I already am just loving how this looks with the marinara sauce. It's super crispy. Let's try it. Oh my God. Mmm. 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 Listen, who needs mozzarella sticks when you can get fried zucchini? This is amazing. Oh my gosh. Mmm. I don't care what anybody says. This is the best way to eat vegetables. The Wild Chive started as a pop-up, and it just from there, slowly, slowly, it has grown into this beautiful brick and mortar with lots of decorations. You can see their history through the walls. They have an open kitchen, they have a coffee bar. They have iced vegan Vietnamese coffee, which is amazing. You usually can't get that at a lot of places. I can totally see why this is a hype, but let's talk about more food. Okay, now moving on because I cannot help myself. When I come here, I'm craving like brunch food, right? You guys, you have to get their pancakes. They're just so fluffy looking and they look amazing. They make this epic in-house egg patty. They got vegan bacon, they got everything. And the reason I got this plate is because a while back ago, they made a special that was breakfast pancake tacos. And I was like, this is freaking genius. So they don't have that anymore, but you can essentially make your own taco plate, right? With the pancakes, the side of sausage, the bacon, the egg. So let's give this a try. I'm gonna grab a little bacon and the egg and some pancake. Cheers. Mm. Oh my God. Mm. Um, mandatory when you come here, please get tater tots. They're one of the best things in the world. Mm. Oh my God, so good. The sausage patty is made in-house and I love how flavorful it is. I love that it's not like store-bought vegan processed food. They really do make an effort to make everything in-house. Trust me, I understand why this place is worth the hype. If you're craving brunch food, you definitely gotta do it. They have other foods like burgers, like I said. Make sure to come check them out. Okay, you guys, do not leave without trying the beignets. These look so magical, they look so legit, so fluffy. Oh, and they serve it to you with this amazing looking jam. Oh my God. Listen, these are legit. They are just as good as the traditional ones. Oh my God, you have to try these. 
And to continue on a sweet note, make sure you visit Hug Life Ice Cream for some of the best vegan ice cream in Los Angeles County. They have a variety of flavors and shakes and multiple locations. Get the taro and you won't be disappointed. I topped it off with Frosted Flakes because I'm extra. P.S. They also sell this flavor at the Sura Tofu House. Lastly, I had to give an Italian night a try. So I'm at La Tarantella here in Long Beach on 4th Street. And 4th Street is really popular because it has a lot of different restaurants. And normally as a vegan, you don't want to enter into any Italian restaurants because they usually don't have anything dairy free, right? But thankfully here, they do offer some options. So let me show you what they offer. Okay, so as an appetizer, they can offer you some roasted vegetables. On the menu, it's called Grigliaja Mista. So it's just a beautiful spread of a bunch of different vegetables. I know that doesn't sound sexy, but trust me, if you love vegetables, you will love this because they have roasted carrots, zucchini, asparagus, squash, mushrooms, and listen, you gotta eat your vegetables too. So let me just try. Mm. Mm. Listen, sometimes vegans don't get enough vegetables. So it's not a bad thing when you get a whole plate of roasted vegetables. Mm, you have to start with this. Next appetizer you have to try are the fried artichoke hearts. But the best part is they make their own homemade marinara sauce. And you guys, this is magical. This is so flavorful because they make it in-house from the fresh tomatoes, everything from scratch. And then last but not least, the entree. They can make a roasted garlic pasta with no cheese. Also noted for the artichoke hearts that you gotta ask without cheese because normally they top it off, but they can easily make it without cheese. For the pasta though, they make this fresh tomato pasta with basil, roasted garlic. I love garlic. This is already calling my name. Gotta give it a try. Mm. Definitely al dente. For me, it needs a little more salt, so I'm probably gonna add more salt to it, disclaimer. And one thing I have to point out is if you want pasta here, you have to get the gluten-free option because all the fresh pasta that they make in-house does have egg, unfortunately. And also, unfortunately, you can't eat bread here because they put milk in it. So yes, their vegan options are unlimited, but they do have options that you can have. But it's nice that you have an Italian option here in Long Beach, right? And don't forget to ask for the sorbet because this one is vegan and it comes straight from Italy. Long Beach has so much to see and do, and there's way more vegan restaurants that I didn't even get a chance to cover, so you should definitely explore and put it on your list to visit Long Beach during your next stay in California. Catch you next time on Rated V. Bye!